Okay, well, I, my button, I think my finger hit the button. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so one of the questions was, um, what do I see? How am I, how are you going to change your life and focus on your 30-year-old son? It feels to me like changing, this is for Susan, um, it feels like changing some of your habits um, are going to be really helpful for you. I feel more of a um, opening up, more of a connection with your son, um, communication, sharing. It feels to me like if you can find some... Um, some ways to share some of the things that you're going through um, and some of the changes that you're making. I think that's going to be helpful for both of you. Um, it definitely feels to me like there's some um, uh, changes in your energy, in your attitude, in your focus on life, and, and some healing and forgiveness that's going to be taking place for you this year that really is going to change your experience. So I think that um, there's there's some healing that's, that's um, going to occur, and as that happens for you, um, you will kind of be the... Um, the mirror for the healing that can occur for him as well. So that, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. One of the other things I just saw is somebody said, um, how do I stay in the now? How do you stay in the now? Um, you know, we don't have tomorrow. We don't have next week. As I sat here before I offered to actually do these readings, I'm working on a memorial service for, for a friend and um, that just committed suicide. And, um, you know, we're not guaranteed next week, next month, next year, next hour. And so this now, this moment is all you have. And uh, in this moment is where you're creating your tomorrows. And so if you can start to focus on what you do have and stay present in this particular moment, uh, be in appreciation, be in gratitude, um, be observant of the energy around you, the, the feelings within you. And if they're not feeling good, then shift your focus, change your mind, look at something different so that you can start to make some real important changes in in, in, in what's going on in your head and as you start making those changes in your head you start to shift the energy around you and attract at a different level um, and also the other thing is to think about is that when you do you know even just affirmations yes I'm a believer in affirmations that's what turned my life around when I was 19 years old um, but even starting to do those a little bit starts to make enough of a change that, that you can really start to see how as your mind changes everything does start to move so if you would give yourself that opportunity, presence is so, so important. Spirit does not speak in the past, and spirit does not speak in the future. Spirit speaks in this exact moment right here, right now, present moment. That's the only moment you have. So stay in that space, and life expands. Life is more graceful and more. there's more ease when we allow that. So trust also. All right, guys. That was my. Uh, that were those are my little mini readings. Um, it's ten thirty at night here in Phoenix, Arizona, and I have a memorial service to finish. So I wish you all a lot of love. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll do this more often. I think this is kind of fun. So this will show up on YouTube on my YouTube channel. Just go to Sunny Don Johnston, or it'll show up on my website on the main page. If you scroll down to the very bottom of my main page, um, there's a little area of videos called Your Daily Sun. Um, I'm trying to do videos every day if possible about just things that are happening in my life really trying to share with you in a, a, a vulnerable and open and honest place um, as I walk my own spiritual journey as a, as a teacher in this community and um, and yet still this human being um, in and 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 in this spiritual experience so um, I hope that you enjoy it I hope that it answered some questions and I look forward to um, talking with you tomorrow as part of your daily sun have a great night